Sunday, my favorite day of the week. Aside with frailing my soul, it clears the rust of the entire week. I also get to enjoy the angelic voices of the choir. Oh, how I love Sundays and being in church with my family. Mom. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, what's that? I'm tired, okay? Dad admires the stress on you a lot. <laughs> Wear this. Why go freshen up? Okay. Thank you. I'll get ready. Okay. For church. Ha. Your dad is still changing outfits. Your mom is still applying makeup. All right. Tasting up you too. I'll be waiting downstairs. I don't want to miss Sunday school. Okay, baby. We'll meet you downstairs. Is she always ready before everyone? <laughs> That's because she loves God so much and she loves the church. In fact, sometimes I wonder how much, how come she loves God this much and we are like, huh, yeah, I'm that's ready. good. Okay, I'm done. I'm ready. Done. You're, you're, you're done. delayed. I'm done. Sana, your mom is delayed. <laughs> Sana, hold your mommy, hold your mommy. Baby girl. Okay, Dad, let's go. What is a Sunday without a Sunday session? Tell me. Dad. Uh, All right, let's. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, oh. come, 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 come. <laughs> come, 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 come. Real quick. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dad, Dad, it's okay. One more, one more, one more, one more. Dad, it's one more. okay. We're going to be late. Okay, maybe. We don't want to miss on the school. We don't want to miss on the school. We will not miss the school, okay? Okay. Let's go. It was your dad, Domi. I was ready to <laughs> because of you. You know what, let me just help you grab your lunchbox. Benis!
Yeah, Zara. Uh, could you kindly get me the documents for all the properties in the Lekki area? Yeah, immediately. the only one in school. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up. Okay. I'm Benis. Sana. Wow. I haven't heard that name before. What does it mean? Shiny light. Oh. That's a cool name. Thank you so much. Well, I'm not familiar with your face, though. New students, just a record here. Whew, I thought as much. Um, nice to meet you, Venice. Friends? I think I like you. <laughs> so, can I show you my special places in the school before sure. our parents get here? Sure. Let's go. Ah, this way. I miss him too, you know. I can't wait for his return. I miss how we sit out to talk about so many things. Your daddy have to walk. But he's going to be back soon. You know, time flies. So, tell me. How was school today? Um, well, I, school was great. I met a new friend today. Wow, that's interesting. So, tell me about her. Her name is Bernice. Oh, Bernice. Bernice. Very nice. That's okay. a nice name. You have to connect so fast. <laughs> what is it about Bernice that you really like? Mm, she's very friendly. Aren't she's you nice. friendly? You are friendly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. There's a connection, right? What did you both talk about? Fine girl. You know you don't need all of that. Your beauty is natural. <laughs> Babe, leave this to know. Pimples are natural. If I don't clean my face, eh, you see plenty of pimples on my face. So, See this one that popped out this morning. Let me see. And what if it's a sign that you have a little one growing inside you? <laughs> Babe, I will definitely know if I'm pregnant. What if your son is not ready to come to the world yet? Oh well, you better let him know that his daddy can wait to meet him. <laughs> Matter of fact, why don't we bring him real quick? Okay. Oh, it is your serious urge for a male child. What if God blesses us with another girl? You've come again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you say? He knows what we want to ask even yeah. before we ask of it. Of course. It, right? Uh -huh. The good Lord knows that I want a baby boy. And and a baby, baby boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Blessed I am in the midst of beautiful women. Look at them. My girls. My Dad, girls. You look good too. Oh yeah, do I now? Yes, you look good. <laughs> Come here. Here we go. Thank you. This is really nice, eh? Thank you. And why do you look extremely gorgeous yourself? Thank you, baby. Let's yeah. go home. All right, shall we? Yeah. Grandma! Hmm. How's my baby girl doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Sweetheart. Mommy, this tell us you were coming. Mm. We never knew you were coming, Mama. Eh? Uh. <sighs> I mustn't tell anybody I'm coming because I know once I say it, as usual, you'll stop my coming. I decided to come. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll just take your bag inside. Mama, please just uh, feel at home, make yourself comfortable. We're just stepping out for a bit. We'll be right back. Dad, yeah. please can Grandma come with us? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sure Grandma must be very tired from her trip. Yeah, Grandma is very Excuse tired. Excuse me. On the contrary, Grandma is not tired. I'm part of the family. I'd like to go out with you. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's... Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, honey. No, oh, no, move. I come with my grandchild. Let's go. Good other. afternoon. Yes. Hey, the girl, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Mom. This is your dad's um, secretary at the office. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, Mom, this is my friend at school I told you about. Oh my God, what a small world we live in. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ma. Good afternoon, Ma. Hi, darling. Bonus, meet my dad, my mom, and my grandma. Oh, wow, good afternoon, Ma. Cheese good break. Afternoon. Yes. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. Oh. Nice to meet you, eh? <laughs> Thank you. How are you, darling? I'm good afternoon. Zara, we're just here for a family lunch, eh? That's okay. We came to pick up some stuff. We'll be on our way, ma. You're very fine. Thank you, ma. You're pretty. <laughs> and tall. Thank you, ma. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. Come on, come. God. Thank you for today. And for other days, we are grateful for our family, for our friends, and for the gift of life, for preservation, and for provision. We thank you for the new member of the family that we are yet to meet. I hope he's a boy. Bless my father wherever he is. Lead him to us safely. Send your angels to come and be with us. Even as we sleep, we shall sleep as peaceful as babies and wake up like giants. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen.
is a judge the entire stand imaging will be conducted on you show that you have chronic endometritis which has resulted to the scarring in the uterus making it difficult for a fertilized egg to develop appropriately I'm afraid this is not good Mrs. Judge, you have Asherman syndrome. And what this means is that you will not be able to have children anymore. Your grandma must be very funny then. <laughs> yes, she is. That's why I'm always happy to have her around. Mm. She reminds me of my dad. He often makes me laugh too and tells me some funny stories in the Bible. Oh, yes, that's true. I didn't see him with you and your mom the other day. Uh, he went to South Africa for a business trip. I can't wait for his return. I miss him so much. He'll be back soon, right? <gasps> December. <gasps> that long? Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'll be doing if I'll to stay without my dad or my mom for that long. <laughs> that is not fun. I'm used to it though. Oh. He travels a lot. <sighs> oh. Don't worry, my dear. Your dad will be back soon. Thank you so much. That's part of my prayer every morning. Mm. Well, mine is for a baby brother. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, God will answer your prayer. Amen. Thank you. God will answer yours too. Amen. Thank you. You're really lucky. Like <laughs> what? Hey. Uji. Ah. Uncle Uji. <laughs> Uncle Uji. <laughs> Uncle Uji. Uncle Uji. Uncle Uji. Where is my husband? Okay, would you where is my daddy? Did he bring gifts with you? Would you where is my husband? No. Okay, would you why are you crying? No. Where is my husband? Where is my husband? No, 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 I've been looking for an opportunity to speak with you alone. Mom, is that for that? I should be asking you that. Come, let me understand. Summer is 12 years, and you're yet to get another child. Now I ask, doesn't that bother you? I... Obviously, it does not bother you. But I want to clear you. Your husband is my only son. And the only son in the lineage of your ancestors. And you know what that means? I know that. No, you don't. Because if you know, your actions will be how to get pregnant and give him a meal. I am not God. I am not God who gives. Send me that sermon. Send me that sermon. You're not God. And what about it? All I need from you is to give my son a male child. We need, we are looking out to him to save that lineage. I do not want to get anything again from you. Nothing but just to get pregnant and give us a male child. Nonsense. Give us a male child. That's all we ask of you. Nonsense. You're not God, you're not God. Send me that sermon. You are not God. 
Every minute you're talking rubbish. Nonsense. When life brings you ups and downs, what you gonna do? When life brings you with trials and tribulations, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? When life brings you ups and downs, what you gonna do? Hey, sweetie. Are you good? Yeah. Nah. I know that look. You always wear that look when my mother is around. What does she don't understand? Nothing, I'm, I'm fine. Come on, Rooks. Look, I know you and my mother hardly get along, but please just try and tolerate all our excesses while she's here. Dave, she's my mother and I know her much better than you do. I said I'm fine. Besides, have you been to see uh, Dr. Frank yet? Oh, no, no, not yet, but I, I, I will see him. Hey, you, know, it's, you know, it's very important. How is Chizara? How is she holding on? Must be very tough. I haven't been to you know, share my condolences with them in person. But I'll make the time. Hmm. Losing a loved one is very devastating. I can imagine how I'll be feeling if I were in her shoes. It must be really tough on her, I know. Baby, you sure you're okay? I'm, I'm fine. Trust me, I'm fine. Sure, sure. Now behold the light, darkness cannot comprehend it. We will always fight till we get what we want. No situation, no condition can break us. No situation, no condition can break us. We cannot lose, we will always win. 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 We are of the breed that will never be defeated. No matter how you try. We are of the breed that will never be defeated. No matter how you try, who are we? We are the shining lights. Tell them who we are. We are the shining, the shining, the shining lights. Venice hasn't been in school for a week now. Could you find out from my mother what the matter is? Uh, Bernice. Bernice lost her dad. And uh, so she and her mom are going through a really tough time right now. Oh my God. That must be very devastating. How, how did he die? Well, he left the country with a cousin or something for work. Something like that. Guy, I can imagine the pain she's going through. That reminds me of when your father died. I feel for my friend. She loves her dad so much. Dad, can we visit them after church on Sunday? That's good. Oh, uh, sure. We can do that. Thank you. Yes, Grandma, I've been meaning to ask you. Why don't you go to church? <laughs> Sana, 
Don't start a conversation you can't finish. Let her be. <laughs> I need to clear the curiosity of my grandchild. Going to church, does that make you make heaven? Yes, like you go to church every Sunday. Will that make you go to heaven? Oh, Grandma, that's not really what church is all about. Mm -hmm. What is it all about? Is it that the overall belief of you Christians, that there's a God somewhere that will send you to hell when you don't go to church? Isn't no, it? that's, come on, that's not it. But what? Look, we don't go to church just to make heaven. In church, we fellowship with other brethren, and <clears throat> going to church keeps our Christian life in check. Mm -hmm. Yes. Too bad. That's not what I believe. Uh, what I believe is you have to be a good human, do what is right. Besides, is it not the same God that sent you Christians to hell when you do anything bad? Grandma! A granddaughter! <laughs> That's just what you choose to believe. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> you shouldn't be having this conversation in the first place, especially over food. Eat your food, yeah? I need to. Sana, listen to your father. going to church. But why? Is it because we are still mourning dad? Because we are moving and that we need it to, to start packing. Moving? To where? Why? Well, your dad's family wants us to vacate the house. So we have to go. That's unfair. Why do they want to take our house? Where do they want us to go? Mom, you have to report this to Uncle Buchi. Your uncle signed the document himself. do such a thing. <laughs> Mommy, we can't let them take our house. We can't. Please. It's... We don't have a choice, okay? They've taken everything else your father owns. And if we don't leave, they will throw us out. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, where, where do we go? Look, I, I managed to get a place. It's, it's not so fancy, but it's manageable. I got it with all my savings. Please, we have to manage. It's gonna be okay. Okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I was so heartbroken when my dad told me. All these months, I've been patiently looking forward to my dad's return. But all I get to see is his ashes. Sana, 
my father got burnt. And I will never see him again. Bernice, I'm truly sorry. It must be very painful. It's okay. It hurts. I thought he would return to us. Just when we're still mourning my dad, my uncle is chasing us out of our house. But, but why? Their mom said they have taken everything from us. Sana, everything is going. Everything is falling apart. It's okay. Why would your uncle take your house away from you? Does, does he want you and your mother to go in the street? He used to be my favorite uncle. I would never have believed that he would not be here for us after my father passed on. I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your uncle's actions. I thought he was a nice person. You know, people change. That's why you need to trust God more. So, where would you and your mom stay? I could talk to my parents. There's no need for that. My mom has got it figured out. I guess we'll be fine. Thank you for coming. I really needed a friend. Did you forget something? Eh? Why did you keep this away from me? Keep what away from me? You saw the doctor? His report here says we can't have children anymore. And you kept that away from me. How long have you been hiding this? Anna, I, 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 I didn't know how, how you were going to take the news. That doesn't answer the question, okay? For a few weeks, I, I was just wait, waiting for the right time to, to tell you. I knew it was going to break you, not knowing how badly you want a male child. But you should have told me. You shouldn't keep this kind of thing away. I was so broken, I was devastated. When the doctor told me that I have Asherman syndrome and that my mom cannot carry children again. No, I don't it. It's okay. But you should have told me. We're in this together.
missed you. I've missed you more. Don't worry, I'll always be here for you. Make sure you say your prayers every day, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Mom, I don't like this place. I don't even have a room to myself. Penis, please. We have to manage. This is the best I could come up with. Besides, it's even closer to your school. But this doesn't feel like home, Mom. I want to return home. Penis, but this is our new home. And with time, you will adapt to it. Okay? Don't make that face for me right now. If you start crying, it will break my heart and I will cry with you too. Please, cheer up a little. Smile for me. Okay? That's my girl. To you? I thought you threw it away. I'm still counting till dad's return. Come on, Venus. Your dad is not returning. I know it's hard, but we have to, to face the reality. But this is the reality, mom. Yes. Your dad is not coming back. Yeah, come in. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. You're back to work already? Yes, sir. Oh, no, I think you're resuming too early. Look, I know how helpful you are around here. Yeah, but I'm not trying to pressure you into coming back to work. Thanks for your concern, sir, but getting busy with work would help me take my mind off negative thoughts. That is why I decided to resume, sir. I'm sure you don't want to take your time. No, sir, I am ready for work. I am trying so hard not to fall into depression. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're sure you don't want to take those guys to court? No, sir. They might just win, and I do not have the strength to fight court cases. <laughs> it's all right. Just drop the file. I'll go through it. Thank you, sir. Uh, once again, sir, thank you very much for your assistance. It went a long way. It's nothing. I mean, you've been working here for a long time. It's the least I could do. Thank you. Yeah. I should get back to work. Yeah, all right. Keep well, eh? I'm glad you're back to school. Um, 
how are you feeling? I don't even know. And the new place? Manageable. My mom says I will adapt. I believe her. I knew things would get better. It was really hard dealing with your absence from school. I miss you too. Um, Sana, can I ask you a question? Sure you can. What is hope to you? Hope, 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 hope. Hope means hope is expectation and desire for something to happen. Why do you ask? For some reason, I have a strong desire to see my dad again. Mm -hmm. That's hope. Add faith to it. My mom always tells me that faith is confidence and trust in what you believe. Everything will be fine. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. IVF. No way. God forbid I watch another woman carry my child. I want to carry my own child. I don't want IVF. No. All right. What then do you suggest we do? You know how important it is for me to be your son, right? I, I know. What makes you even sure that you will get a male child through the IVF? What if God blesses us with another girl? But I think it's better to try than not to try at all. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 I don't agree to this. This whole thing always ends with the surrogate mom bonding with the child and refusing to let the child go. Or oh, she'll come dragging my husband with me. Who knows, you might even fall in love with her. Calm down now. I love you too much to do stuff like that to you. All I want is a son. I know. I know, and that's why I think we should opt for an adoption instead. Adoption? Yes. No oh, way. Unless without that processing that we'll get a, a, a baby boy. A boy whose background I know nothing about? A boy who will one day wake up and go look for his biological parents? And who will tell him that you are not his biological parents? Oh, please. The truth always finds some way to, to, to resurface somehow. Do you know how less of a woman I'll feel seeing another woman carry my child? No, I don't want another woman in the picture. Let's okay. adopt. Let's just adopt a child. Okay. You clearly haven't thought through what my mother would do when she finds out that you can't bear a child. I'm the only one that bears our last name. I know. And that's why we should adopt a son. Stop talking this nonsense adoption. Do you think adoption is a solution to our problem? I will not adopt a child when I'm very fertile. Hey. I didn't mean it that way. When life brings you ups and downs. I, I, I'm sorry. What you gonna do? I didn't mean it that way. When life brings so many trials and tribulations, I thought you were this thing. What you gonna do? 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 When life brings you ups and downs, Rookie. What you gonna do? When life brings so many trials and tribulations, What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? No retreat and no surrender. <laughs> we don't take no for an answer. Why is all this happening to me? And I'm not, I'm not supposed to question you, but I am broken. <laughs> when it's not going to work. I'm so diligently and faithfully. Just be <laughs> Why did you take my woman away? Speaking to a Jesus. Why me, God? Why? Just be careful. Speaking to existence, whatever you want. This wasn't the plan. 
Why did you have to take my husband away? I thought I was so young to be without a father. Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Why? <laughs> Make sure the bridge is strong, then put power behind it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, try it. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Yeah. Let's do this one. Okay, I'll take ball number woo, five. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Huh? Number five, okay. Ow! No. <laughs> I almost got it, man. Bridge properly. Ah, it's the bridge. It's the bridge. Your bridge is moving, that's why. So always firm, firm bridge. Yeah, always firm bridge. Anyhow you choose. Some people do like this, you know? Hey, Mama. Hey, Juro. I want to talk to you. Yeah, ma. Sure, I'm all ears. Good. Sana? Come on. Excuse us, please. Please. Good girl. Hey, Juro. I heard voices last night. Did you get into a fight with your wife? Anyway, um, I thought by now that she'll be kids running around this big compound, especially male kids. What is going on? Mama, nothing is going on. Everything is fine. No! Nothing is fine. If everything is fine, why has your wife not taken in again? No, tell me. Why has she not? Mama, mama, calm down. No, 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 don't tell me to calm down. You're shouting. Tan I am shouting. I, if, if, if it takes me shouting to bring back your senses, I'll do that over and over again. Look at your daughter. She's 12 years old. No brother, no sister. And you're here selling me bull rap. Are you OK? Listen, it looks like you don't know why I look like this. Yes. My son, let me tell you. It's going to be a big shame if you die today without giving birth to a male child. If your wife is not barren, consider taking a new wife. Because I will not take it again. I'm in, I'm in no mood for this. No, you have to. What kind of talking? You have to. Adrian, you have to come back. Don't go anywhere. Don't just walk out on me. Are you mad? You have to be in the mood. I am the one to tell you the truth. Your daughter is 12 years old. You aren't having any child and you're, you're here selling me bull rap. Are you okay? Are you mad? Oh. <sighs> Ejiro! Ejiro! You must be in the mood, whether you like it or not. It's Sunday. Oh, Benis. Benis, leave me alone. Let me have some sleep. But we have to go to church. We are not going. Why not? Because I said so. But, but that's not the reason 
We have to go to church, please. What's the point of going to church? Hmm? What's the point of going to church when God in heaven allowed your father to die? There's no need. Then the Bible said that we should trust and obey. To Whoa! Venice, you are 14. Hmm? If you want to go to the church, do you know your way? Don't disturb me again. Mom. Dad? Yeah? What's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? You were dozing off in church. Oh. It was almost like you were never here. And why did mom refuse to come to church today? She usually doesn't miss church. Uh, Sana, I don't know which of your questions I'm supposed to attend to first. But at least I was in church, right? Dad, are you and mom fighting? No. Why should we fight? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> You're overthinking, young chap. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I know it's not in church, maybe probably because of stress, you know, work stress. And your mom missed church probably because she has some things to do. Yeah? Stop overthinking, come on. It's as simple as that, okay? said goodbye a million times. I know, I know. Yet it still feels like it's not you know. I know, baby. I know. Yes. Listen. I'm going to miss you so much. And I'm going to miss you more. Do you know this is going to be hard on her, right? Yeah, I know. But she's our big girl. I know she'll be fine. You're proud of you. It's okay. It's not like I'm going to be there forever. Okay? I'll soon be back. But Daddy, you don't really have to go. At least we, you can you can look for a work here. It will be better. Listen, darling, you know how much we have prayed for this opportunity to come. And God has answered our prayer. Just be strong for me. I'll soon be back. Okay? Just do a countdown for me. Come on, stop, 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 stop. I miss you more than you can imagine. Ah, and I'm gonna miss you more. Listen, when you missed me so much, always remember the favorite moment we spent together. I'll put a smile to this face, okay? Okay, okay. Just be okay. strong for me. Okay. Come here. Fred, where are you now? We're going to miss our flight. <laughs> okay. Ah. But she's waiting for me, okay? okay. All right, see you again. Come on. Baby. Come on. Okay. Let's be strong, okay? I want both of you to be strong for me. Daddy, what the hell? I'm not going to be my last one. It's okay. Okay. We're going. All right. All right. See you, Daddy. Come on. All right, but let's go.
Zara. So. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I'm fine. I know you're going through a rough patch right now. But you must also know that you will get over this. Yeah? You're a good woman. I feel so alone. I don't know how to raise Ben is all by myself. You're not alone. I can be there for you, always. Sir, so you've done enough. I don't want to bother you and your perfect family any longer. Lara, my family is not perfect. Look, you can't bear children anymore. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I need to marry another wife. I need to keep the family legacy going. I need a son. I can't think of anyone else, you know? I Zara. Please marry me. Again. Look, I'm sorry, love. I had a lot of work to do. Yeah? Mom, are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Very well. Please, Mom, tell me the truth. Are you okay? What? I said I'm fine. Just been busy with work. But what is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I have a feeling something is bothering you. For some Sundays now, you've been reluctant to go to church. And now your face has lost its glee. Okay. I am fine. Mommy is fine. I've just been busy with work. Work has been stressful, hectic, and all that. But I'm fine. But you work from home, Mom. Does that mean I'm not going to get stressed through work? Really? Mom. What is wrong with you, Lindsay? I'm fine. I said I'm fine. It's Saturday. Yeah, I know. I just have a few things to take care of at the office. But you usually bring it home to finish. Babe. What is going on? You, you don't touch me anymore. Look at us, we're falling apart. Okay. I'm not in the best frame of mind right now. I just need to clear my head. Because of the IVF, right? Look, it's been over a year. And yet you're still adamant on opting for surrogacy. I don't want another woman to carry my child. I don't trust any woman to carry my child. I don't want a surrogate mother. Then you leave me with no choice but to get myself a second wife. When life brings you ups and downs, what you gonna do? When life brings you away trials and tribulations, what you gonna do? What gonna do? What gonna do? What gonna do? What gonna do? When life brings you ups and downs, what you gonna do? Ah, huh? mom. You didn't tell us you were coming. Welcome. Excuse me? So I should obtain permission from you before coming to my son's house. You're very stupid. Are, are, are we fighting? Yes, we're fighting. We are fighting. Why are you this wicked? Why have you refused to give my son children? What have we done to you? But what? 
You see why I never liked you from day one. When my son introduced you to me, I saw it in your gender that you'll not be able to give children. Yes, I saw that. I gave my son a fatal girl to marry. A girl that has good legs. That will give him children. But my son wouldn't listen. He decided to shut your mouth and I'm still talking. He decided to marry barren like you. I am not barren. I have a child. I have a daughter I give birth to. I have a child. I have a daughter. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You have a child, you have a daughter, and you're proud. It is as good as having none. If the child, a girl child you gave birth to, if it were to be a boy, it would have been better. I am not God. I am not God who knows the kind of gender to bless couples with. I am not God. So this is what you're telling me. Listen, my dear, if you know you cannot give us children, better tell us on time. Let's know what to do. What is this? Why are you this wicked? Are you listening to me? I cannot have children again. Beth, I have said it. I cannot have children again. This is what you want to hear. I've said it. I cannot carry children in my womb anymore. I knew it. I knew it. That something is wrong with you. The doctor said I have um, Asaman syndrome and my womb cannot carry children anymore. I'm sorry. I cannot give you more grandchildren. I'm sorry. And my son is keeping quiet over this. I said my son doesn't have my traits at all. Neither his father. But listen, let me tell you, I have come. I have come to stay. I will stay here. You see the way I'm sitting? I will stay here and make sure my son gets sons. Sons. Nonsense. Should I get you something to I don't want. Drink. Tell my son I am around which drink. Did I come here to drink? Water. Water? Water? I don't want anything. Tell my son I am around. Water? A drink? From, 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 from barren woman? Nonsense. I'm here to drink water. We call it water. Water? Drink? Tell my son I am around, please. Tell him to come down. Nonsense. Oh, oh, hi, darling. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Uh, I saw Sana's dad dropping you off. Yeah, he took me out to get stuff for us. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good man. Mm -hmm. I'll tell Sana she has a great dad. Well, don't you think he knows that already? Um, sweetie, please come. Come. I still miss your daddy. I miss him so much. I miss him every day. And I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> so the both of us can go to church together. Uh, how did we? get into this conversation now. You know what, how about you take this to the kitchen for me real quick. Mom, you have been avoiding me. Hey, nice. I said take this to the kitchen now. Now!
I'm sorry I kept it away from you. Adrian, I'm worried for you. You see, Sana will grow up to answer another man's name. What about you? What about your father's name? Will he die? I know I'm, I'm, I'm as concerned as you are. But you're not doing anything about it. How can you suggest surrogacy to your wife? I was, I, was, I was confused at the time. It was the only thing I could think of. I mean, I couldn't just give in to adoption, just, just like you suggested, but... Wait, though. Adoption? So she suggested adoption to you? Oh. Mm. Because she knows she will not be able to give you children. She now decided that you not have children either. That's an insensitive thing to say. Yeah. Um, I have an option. Ijo, I want you to have an affair. No. <laughs> no. I'm not the kind of man to have an illegitimate child. Besides, I've asked to choose her to marry me. It's just, she hasn't agreed yet. What? Come, don't tell me you've been eavesdropping on our conversation. Uh, mom, mom, please, just excuse us, please. You're planning to get married to choose her your secretary? I won't let you do that. Hey, Jiro. Don't let her talk you out of this. Are you hearing me? Please, excuse us, please. Es excuse I've already excused you. You actually asked you. Don't let her talk you out of this. I was going to tell you. I didn't plan for don't, don't, like this way. Don't even say anything. How can you do this to us? After everything we have been through together, after don't, please, don't touch me. How can you, you want to marry? Are you, are you even listening to yourself? I thought it was a joke when you were talking about it. I didn't know you were serious. You want to take another woman? Edira, you want to leave? Then what better option do you have for me? I'm not doing this because, because I can. I'm, 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 I'm doing this because... says Christians are not supposed to marry two wives. You know the Bible. Why are you doing this? Really, why are you doing this? I just want a son. Can't you get it? And my mind is made up. This word, you give us everything we ask of it is fire. No condition <laughs> can break us. We cannot lose, we will always win. 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 We we are of the breed that will never be defeated, no matter how you try. We are of the breed that will never be defeated, no matter how you try. Who are we? We are the shining lights. Tell them who we are. 
the shining light. Shine. Yeah, come in. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir, I, I thought about your proposal. And I, I understand you badly need a son. I also need a father figure for my daughter. And I can't think of anyone else. I figured we both need, need each other. Is this another way of saying yes? Sir, please. I just want you to know that I am only doing this for my daughter. And I hope you'll be a good father to her. Thank you very much. I'll treat her like she was mine. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Sir, what about your wife, Rookie? <laughs> Rookie's not taking this very well. I know. It's, it's really hard. You know I still love her very much, right? Of course, I, I do. We're just doing this for convenience. And I sincerely hope I'm able to give you a son. Because you're a good man and you deserve everything good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now I see why you want to marry her. Rookie. Hi. Rookie, this this is this is nothing. It was just a friendly hug. Have you been sleeping with her? Have you? No. Then don't marry her. Look, I've been thinking about this whole thing, about this surrogacy, and I have accepted. Let, let's do it. I'll get the surrogate myself. We've gone past that option, I'm rookie. Sarah has agreed to marry me. I just can't opt out all at once. Besides, you know what my mother thinks of this whole story. This is not about your mother. This is about us, what we want. Wait, wait. Please don't tell me you're in love with her. Hell no. I'm not even sexually attracted to her. I'm just doing this because, I mean, her, her, her daughter needs a father figure. They've been through a rough patch. I need a son. This whole thing is just a marriage of convenience. You, you know it. What about me? What about how I feel? What will happen to me? Adriel, hey, tell me, what about me? Please don't. Please don't marry her, please. Sana. Sana. What is it? You don't look cheerful. <sighs> I think... I think my home is falling apart. How do you know that? Things are no longer the same. My parents are not as happy as they used to be. And I think my dad wants to take a second wife. What? Why? The doctor said my mom cannot bear children. But I don't believe it. I've been praying for a younger brother and I know I will have one soon. I believe you. Let's just pray to God that your father doesn't marry another woman. <sighs> oh. Hi. Mom! Uh -uh. You're still here? My mom is running late. Oh, I'm sure your mom will be here soon, okay? So, baby, wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you trying to share my daughter with me as well? Like you're sharing my husband? Okay. Since her kid's not here. Are you, are you, are you mad? You even have the F wanted to talk back at me. Okay, what is this? Why are you fighting her? This, this woman, she's the one trying to ruin my family. 
What? Mom. Is that true? I don't want to see you anywhere close to them. They are enemies. They only what we have and they want to take everything away from us. But mommy, shut up your mouth. Please. I beg you both, in the name of God, stay away from us. You, stay away from my family. Do you hear me say? Shh. Oh, stop! Mom, tell me what Sana's mom said is not true. Come on. Look, she just got back from school. Come. Why don't you go in, take off your uniform, shower, then I'll get something for you. Mom, don't try to change the topic. Do you want to marry Sana's dad? What is wrong with that? Mom! What? You are trying to destroy someone's home and you don't even see anything wrong with that. Come on. I am not trying to destroy someone's home. On the contrary, I am doing them a favor. Yes. Look, you won't understand. When you grow up, you will understand that I am even doing this for you. Then don't do it, Mom. For my sake, Mom. Don't destroy Sana's home. You won't. Please. You won't understand. Come, bitch. Why does Dan want to take a second wife? Uh, Sana, look, you're too young to understand. How to tell me the doctor's report or how I will deal with it, which? <sighs> yes, yes, I know. I know I, I overheard your conversation with Grandma the other day, but Mom, do you believe that? <sighs> well, I have just accepted my fate. No, Mom, that's not your fate. That's just the doctor's report. Sana, look, I know the things they teach us and tell us in church and preach about faith, about God, about life, but honestly, my darling, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. We have to be realistic. This is life. This is real life. We need to face reality. And I've accepted my fate. I've accepted to take it like that. But mom, you, you taught me faith and hope, and now yours is gone. Well, I will have a younger brother, and I know it. Yes, you will have a baby brother, but it won't be from me. school or girl talk? Uh-uh. Oh, go ahead. Is, is polygamy a good thing? Where's that coming from? Why do you want a second wife?
Sana, I want to explain it to you, but I know you may not understand it, but in time you will, yeah? So let, let me just say, would you, would you like a sibling? A brother or a sister that you can play, play with? Of course, I, I want to have siblings, but mom will have one soon. Now, dear, these things don't work that way. Like the fairy tale movies you watch. This is reality. Dad, who defines our reality? Dad, I'm being real, and I know it. My dear, you should be happy that you're going to have siblings soon. And the good thing is, your would be stepmother is your friend's mother. And that makes, makes us a big, happy family. Big? Yes. Happy? No. Grandma, you shouldn't be doing this. Doing what? Polygamy breaks at home. My dear, not every home. I know a lot of polygamous homes that live as one. And you would not know unless they tell you. Ask questions. My darling, you're growing. That's what I can say. And in time, you get to understand exactly how the world works. I don't have to understand how the world works when I know how God works. See why I don't go to church. Yes? Look at what they're feeding your child with. Oh, Mom, please. Please what? You always take a jab at the church at every chance you get. You know I don't buy into your beliefs anyways. Mm. No problem. For sweetness, you will. Come back before me. That's why I left a note for you. You'll still go to church every day, even during the week. What? Can't you just sit at home like other kids and read your book for once? I always do, Mom. Mom, where's my calendar? In the trash. It's in the trash where it's meant to be. Why? Because you need to wake up to reality, girl. Wake up from this dream, your dad is dead. Dead and he's never ever coming back. Get it into your thick skull. It is a church, church, church. I believe he's going to be back home. You're crying. You're leaving dad. Well, what about me?
She'll be fine. Okay? You'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. Just a little sign of trouble and you're ready to leave your home. <laughs> Whatever happened to your fate? Even the tiniest bit of faith can make a difference in our lives, remember? You cannot understand. Understand what? That you told me how to pray and you no longer pray anymore. What is the use of praying when I don't even believe the word? Now, I'm, it needs to make you strong. Please, please don't do this. Please, don't go. I'm sorry, I have to go. I have to go. Dad, please don't let her go. Please. Okay, what are you doing? You're trying to... You're leaving? Why won't I leave? Oh, come on. Come on, Rookie. I love you so much. Come on, don't do this. I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't watch you be with another woman. He thought of it is going to break me. It's going to destroy me. I, I can't. Rookie, this is beyond me. You understand exactly what... Rookie, please. I just Ruki, let me go. Rookie, stop it. Stop this, please. Or we'll signed up for better, for worse. And it got worse. You left me. You left me to fight this battle alone. How am I supposed to do it? Rookie, this is beyond me. I can't just let me go. I cannot do this. I cannot do it. You're what my are you? Life, <laughs> and I can't let you go anywhere. We have to stick together and sort this out together. Ejiro, hey, let me go. Let me go. I cannot do this. I can't. I can't just let Ruki, me please. go. please. Please, oh. just stay. Please. The thought of you being with another woman breaks my heart. I cannot take it. I can't. Besides, my womb cannot carry another child for you. You need a baby boy. I cannot give it to you. Why am I here? God has refused to place me with another child and I cannot give it Rookie, to you. Ruki, come on. Stop <laughs> this. Please, please. 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 She asked you to stay away from me. But you've done nothing wrong. Look, all this is not your fault. I... I tried talking my mom out of it. But she wouldn't listen to me. My mom almost left home for good. Mine thinks my dad is dead and I have to live in the reality. Sometimes I ask myself why these things happen. One minute you have a happy home and the next minute everything comes crumbling. It's a test of faith, sometimes. And what do we do when our faith is tested? Lord, you spoke to us in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. And he said, call unto me and I will answer and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Lord, here we are calling you again, Lord. Lord, please answer us and grant us our deepest heart desire. Lord, you said that you will bring health and cure to us. And reveal unto us the abundance of peace and truth. Lord, our womb is breaking. Come and build it. Because if you don't build a house, the builders build in vain. Please answer our cry. Answer our cry, oh Lord. Please, for your word in John chapter 14, verse 14 says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So what I ask that you bring Bernie's father back, Lord. Bring him back to their home. Lord, you did not say my mother cannot bear children. It was just the doctor's report. God, please, I choose to believe yours. Father Lord Almighty, let your healing hands rest upon my mother in Jesus' name. And let your comforting hands rest upon Bernie's mother in Jesus' name. For she is broken. And come and mend her heart again. Lord, please help Sana's mom to conceive and give birth again. Amen. Restore our womb. Lord, restore my mom's trust and believe in you. Bring peace and hope. Love and light 
back to our home. Amen. Now behold the light, darkness cannot comprehend it. We will always fight till we get what we want. No situation, no condition can break us. No situation, no condition can break us. We cannot lose, we will always win. 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 We are of the breed that will never be defeated. No matter how you try. We are of the breed that will never be defeated. No matter how you try, who are we? Are we the shining light. Tell them who we are. We are the shining, the shining, the shining My mom and I are going to see Zara's people very soon. We're planning a very small ceremony. You're not going to ask when? Rooks. Look, I hate to see you like this. Please just, just say something. What do you want me to say? You have everything sorted. Okay. I just hope that you understand this. And, and I want you to know that I love you dearly. smiling in your sleep. Yes, that I saw an angel and he asked me to pick whatever I wanted. <laughs> it was just a dream. It's not just a dream, Dad. Okay, whatever you say, boss. <laughs> Would you like to stop over for ice cream before we get home? Okay, Dad, yes. Yeah? All right, good, good. You are going to marry Sana's father, aren't you? I wish your father didn't have to die the way he did. The society isn't fair to single mothers. But the society won't bear the consequences to decisions we make. We'll be fine, Mom. I am not doing anything wrong. 
just want you to have the best life. I want you to have a father figure in your life. I don't want you to, to miss out from anything your mates have. Please, for my sake, don't marry Sana's dad. Please. And I, I wish I could. I wish I could do this for you, but we have bills. This house needs to be paid for. We have your school fees, feeding. My earnings is not even enough. But we are managing. For how long? We'll be fine. Look, your father's family took everything away from us. Look, Dennis, I don't want to start crying. I don't want you to ruin my makeup. Look, I am marrying him. And that's fine now, okay? Are you okay? Uh, I'm feeling a bit feverish. Jeez, you're burning. Come, let's go to the hospital. Mm, I thought you were going out. Don't worry, I'll go to the hospital tomorrow. It's okay. Where I'm going can wait. Yeah? Come, 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 come. I'm Get fine. Up. I can go to the hospital. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I got you. I thought you were going on a date. Oh, uh, yes. But Rook is really sick. Go for your date. Come on, let's go, let's go. Is she a child? Let her go to the hospital. You go for your date. I'll put a call through. Really what? Please, let her go to the hospital. You go for your date. Don't miss that, please. She a child? That's why I'm here to apologize. Yeah, I'm deeply sorry. You see, my, my conscience has been killing me. It's been terrorizing me day and night. I just thought that the only way to set myself free is to come and, and see you. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Could, would she do this to us? We are family. Yeah. See, see, in a way to, to prove, to prove it, I, I'm ready to forfeit everything. Every single dime I made from that deal, I am forfeiting it. I'm handing them over to you. And of course, from here, I'll be handing myself over to the authorities. That's the only thing that can give me peace right now. That's the only thing that can set my soul at ease. Sir, what about my, my dad? Yes, what about my husband? Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I, I don't think he made it. He couldn't have made it. I, I think he's dead. He's dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. and Mrs. Sejo, in all my years as a medical doctor, I've never seen anything like this. Doctor, what is really wrong with my wife? Doctor, please, what is wrong? 
your wife has a shaman syndrome which makes it impossible for her to bear children in fact medically she cannot conceive anymore doc doc that's the facts we already know all of that please bro level up with me what really is going on your wife is pregnant we ran tests multiple times just to confirm this i mean mr juro this is miracle <laughs> I have a shaman syndrome. I am pregnant. Wait, are you, are you sure of what you are saying? I have never been more certain of anything in my career. Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Ejiro, indeed, there is God in heaven. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, yeah, just a minute, I'll tell the person come here. Okay, excuse me. Hey! You, sh you should be excited. This is what we've been praying for for months now. <laughs> hey, come on. You will sign forever, for better or for worse. Things got bad, and what did you do? You opted out and let me fight my battles myself to carry my cross alone. Okay. I'm so sorry. My quest for a male child totally beclouded my thoughts. <laughs> situation I, I, I knew nothing about. Something that was beyond my control. It was beyond me. I could not help it. And then you just left me to just carry it alone. Have you ever thought for once if you were in my shoes? Have you? Do you even think I know the pain I go through? Do you even try to turn tables and see what I'm going through and even see if I would do this thing to you? Did you? Okay, I'm sorry. I've been selfish. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Now I'm pregnant. The doctor just confirmed I'm pregnant. What if I give birth to another girl? Oh, come on, baby. I don't even care. I don't care whatever gender God blesses us with, male or female. I don't care about gender. I just want you to see you happy. Brooks, I mean it. Your, your father is not helping matters. I know you love your mom so much, but I need a male child. I need a male child. Uh -huh. You are back. You've missed your date for a barren woman. Good eh? Good afternoon, what? You missed your date, right? I told you, let me give you a fertile woman. Somebody that will give you children. You refuse. Eh? Now you're back. Our rookie is pregnant. <laughs> My wife is pregnant. <laughs> what? Did I hear you well? Well, we carried out a test three times, just to be sure. <laughs> but I thought that's not possible anymore. Well, we thought so too. But the doctors are calling this a miracle. This is a total miracle. In fact, we have to celebrate. We have, we have to celebrate. I'm going to have a baby, bro. Are you sure you're pregnant? Come on, what? Yes, I am. Huh. Okay. I okay. Don't care. 
Now behold the light, darkness cannot comprehend it. We will always fight till we get what we want. No situation, no condition can break us. No situation, no condition can break us. We cannot lose, we will always win. 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 Friends, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? My mom is pregnant! Where's she gonna have a baby brother? To God bring the glory. Oh, God answered our prayer. Yes. My God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have a baby brother. I'll have a baby brother. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Andrew. Mama. You're back too early today. Yeah, I just had to come out on time. Bought my wife a gift. Wow. Nice one. I feel bad the way I treated her. Oh, I feel worse. I disappointed her just too many times. All I needed was just a male child for you. But son, as it is now, I don't care whether it's a male child or a female child. <laughs> you mean that, Mama? I mean every word that comes out of my mouth. Hmm? You see, you have a very long years to live. You can still give birth to male children, female children. You can have as many sons and daughters you want. It's okay by me, please. I'm so sorry. You know, she's really hurt. And she'll really appreciate the news of the, of the pregnancy if I stood by her during hard times. It's not too late to make amends. I owe her an apology. Yes. I should go see her. Yeah. You're welcome. Congratulations, sir. Your wife just gave birth to a bouncing baby hey, boy. <laughs> hey, you mean it? Easy, easy. Hey. 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 How, how's she doing? Baby and the mother are doing fine. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. Wait, they have to know now. They come have on, to come know. On, come on. <laughs> Mama? Hey, she does give birth. <laughs> Wait for me, oh. I must go with two people, no? You love that I'm fired by fire. You have done it too. I must go. I believe in God now. The God that I'm fired by fire. He has done it too. Mm. Yeah, what? The God that I'm fired. Wait for me and make sure you... These people want to leave me. Sana! Tell your parents to wait for... Sana! Make sure they don't leave me. Did you see the baby is so cute? Ah, oh, very, He's very so cute. I'm so happy for them. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah, so. What are we going to have for breakfast? Mm, let me say spaghetti. Ah, uh, okay. But by this time, okay, let me see who's at the Hold on. Hold on. Mom, who is it? 
Darkness cannot comprehend it. We will always fight till we get what we want. No situation, no condition can break us. No situation, no condition can break us. We cannot lose, we will always win. We cannot lose, we will always win. We cannot lose, we will always win. We cannot lose, we will always 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 always. We are of the breed that will never be defeated. No matter how you try. We are of the breed that will never be defeated no matter how you try who are we are we are the shining lights tell them who we are the shining lights 